here. Not you. Oh, uh, actually. but it might have been specific to them. It was not. Okay? Wait, I wonder if the stars shine beyond the blue sea. It's too far away to see. You rhymed sea with sea. Uh... <laughs> Told that the Pro Army performed admirably in the Hundred Days War. But there was one particular colonel who really made the difference in driving off the Imperial forces. Still, I haven't heard a peep out of where he is or what he's done since the war ended. People just stop talking about him. You're talking about Lucius, aren't you? Uh, I bet you are. <laughs> Has more applicants with each year that passes. That's why the entrance examination is so difficult. I guess I ought to check out the campus for myself. But shouldn't we see what the kid wants first? Uh, I feel I feel feel a little bit bad for you, but I think I mean. Eh. Okay. I mean, I agree. I don't think it would be such a bad thing. Just make sure it's what you want. Floating between the blue sky and the water. I really just can't get over how beautiful the ruin is. Hmm. Uh. Oh, there he is, and he beat us across the bridge. Oof. Okay, I think I have a plan B. People used to take a ferry. Mm hmm. If you turn up anything interesting, be sure to tell me about it. I want to 
replace the roulette wheel when, while the renovations are going on. I'm trying to draw in more customers. Okay. Uh, well, we finished our investigation. There's been some trouble, though. We'll have more information for you later. We came all the way here, and I wasn't planning on just rousing. I'm here to shop, damn it! when I was sailing through Republican waters. This is before their political climate had sailed down, so there was no real public order there. Anyway, we were suddenly attacked by some pirates in a passenger ship. But since I'm a man of the sea, it was the pirates that were in trouble. With them getting closer, I knew that hesitating would spell disaster. And after a scuttle, I eventually bested them and spent my victory bashing bathing in the adoration of some exotic Eastern woman. <laughs> okay. If you've got a flight to catch, best stay on this side of the bridge. A lot of folks miss their flights, but you can get stuck when the bridge is up. At those times, the schedule for the airship departures is jam-packed, too. It's somewhat problematic. It does seem like suboptimal scheduling. get across as quickly as possible. Seriously? If that's... Now don't go shit in tears like that. You remind me of my granddaughter, and I don't like seeing her upset either. Well, alright, I suppose it can't hurt. Go ahead and hop aboard. <laughs> I'll just tell the Duke fellow that the boat's being repaired. Do you know how to handle a boat boy? Come on, both of you- I mean, we just need to go across and you could probably take the boat back again to TBH. But okay, I guess this works. This is the southernmost part of the warehouse district. Uh, what the heck? Oh, it's a bird. Not just any bird, it's the bird. Looks like it's gone as far in as you can go. Let's go. Yeah, I'll do this now. Yeah, okay. Don't try to play dumb. I knew it was you guys who did it. I'm not gonna let you get away with it. What's this little punk talking about, eh? Hey, there's no place for little kids. You ought to go home and go back to sucking on your mama's- Really? Really? You said that to- Really? You guys are such assholes! Yeah. 
You just told an orphan boy whose orphanage burnt down to go cry to his mother! And now you're gonna beat up a little kid. Uh. Well, I'm still pretty sure you didn't burn down the orphanage, but you know, you're just such fucking jerks. You deserve what you're what's coming. How can you be so cruel to a child like that? It's disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Ah, hell no, dog. Hey, Missy. Who are you to look down on us just because you... Just because you got some looks, you rich snob? How many bracers do you think it'll take to beat us? I mean, if you're gonna do it, then go for it, but... I really don't enjoy it. But I was taught how to use a sword if it's to protect others. I think now is the right time. A self-defense rapier. <laughs> Otherwise, I will be forced... I will force you to do so. Get your minds out of the gutter and focus, boys! You... You really expect us to let this brat get away with method off to us? We're the Ravens, and we have an image to maintain. You need a, you lot need to learn not to mess with us. I'm gonna enjoy kicking your ass. Is what's gonna happen here. Uh, hmm. Yes, group up like that. Right like that, actually. Okay, I can flip the two of you. Uh, one of you will go beforehand. None of the gang members, well. Uh, yeah, like this feels like a good call. Your did, did that to work. Ow, quit it. Okay, let's see. I have something cool in here, right? Like, I can do Petrification Breath, I can do Stone Impact. Stone Impact feels pretty good, but also three of them will get a move beforehand, which feels not so great. What about if I do... I mean, lightning is just cool, but also probably suboptimal. If I do this, then... I'll... This is even really quick? Yeah, we're doing that. Okay. You've had your crafts lock, which is unfortunate, but you have no... Anyway. Okay, lots of healing magic. Earth guard, clock up. Kind of looks pretty similar to Estelle's stuff, actually. Uh, you can't attack either. Because that's been locked. So...
Okay, that looks like some kind of charge attack. So... Wait, aha! As for you... Hmm, that's a little bit too slow. Aha! Kemper! And your super move revives and- Okay, that's- That's really nice. Plus 50 defense if 200 CP. Huh. Bolden? Oh man, don't do that. That's lame. Oh, but you know, you have made a critical error. Critical hit, you say? Okay, I think we will drop a... I mean, this that's probably overkill. Oh, hey, actually. And I'm actually a he head in levels from the guest from the new party member. There's a first time for everything. You guys are some kind of monsters! Even if she is a bracer, there's something weird about this chick. That was awesome, Miss Chloe! No, I'm still just a novice. Fighting any longer would serve no purpose. Please release the boy. Y you bitch! We ain't gonna just let you make fools of us and get away with it. Enough. Hey, it's a gate! Has it been so long that you've forgotten my voice? I mean, I think it's better to kick someone's ass, TBH. <laughs> Rise. Y yeah? What are you fools doing? Fighting with girls and beating up a little kid? Is that what it's come to? Y you shut up, man! You left us, so who are you to give us any orders? Yeah, I think... Never mind. <laughs> hey, 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 okay, t take it easy. Oh, buddy, old pal, friend of mine. If it's about the kid, we'll, we'll, we'll let him go, see? Come on, finish the three beat. Literally, beat in this case. Hmm. You should have just done that from the start. I just talked to John, is all. He said the newbies were somewhere investigating the arson case. So... Hey, kid. You've got some guts to 
come in up here all by your lonesome. But you're really pushing your luck. You shouldn't worry your mama like that. A gate. Um. It's the matron. Why have you come here? Or no, that was Chloe. I inquired of the guild as to what was going on. And I was led here. Clem, really, you should know better. Uh, I'm not apologizing this time. I'm gonna get those jerks who started the fire and... Clem! That wasn't my intent. I understand how you feel, Clem. Believe me, I do. The house was important to everyone who lived there. To all of us. But... Getting yourself killed will not bring it back. All that I want is for everyone to be safe. Nothing else matters. So please don't put yourself in danger. I... I... I'm glad it's okay. Man, a gate, shut up. You should get the matron and Brad out of here. This really is no place for them. I don't mind, but what are you gonna do, a gate? I've made up my mind. I'm gonna remind these idiots who runs things and why. I might need to crack a few skulls open first, though. I guess you'd prefer not being interrupted, then. Thank you so very much. I wish I had the words to express my gratitude. You really don't need to thank us. We're just doing our jobs. Still, are you sure you don't want us to escort you back to Minoria? Yes, it's fine. The Gull Seaside Way is like my backyard, after all. More importantly, I don't want to get Chloe in trouble at the school. I will accept full responsibility, Matron. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. But it's fine, really. I want you to focus on preparing for the campus festival. All of the children are looking forward to it. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a tough job. Thanks for coming to help me today. I was stupid. Really, really stupid. Um... I thought maybe I could get back at them. And then you'd have to come save me. Or th and then you had to come save me. You must think I'm a complete loser. Rest your life and limb to protect something that's important to you. That's no mean feat, even for grown-ups. Personally, I thought you were pretty awesome. However, you need to leave fighting the criminals to us. Your job is to protect the matron and the other kids. No one else can do it. You have to stay with them and encourage them and support them too. You're the only one who can do it, Clem. You think you're up to it? You betcha. You can count on me. Thank you yet again. Take care, everyone. If you'll pardon us. Oh, Miss Chloe! I can't wait to see the play. Great. I've been working hard on it, so I hope everyone will be there. Sometimes you just, you know just the thing to say, don't you, Joshua? 
Thank you, Joshua, so much. No, no, I didn't say anything special. You've got to protect what's important to you, that's all. Anyway, I'm just glad that he's okay. Thanks for your help, Chloe. I should be thanking you. Oh, by the way, what came of your investigation? Yes, I'd like to find out what's really going on. Not to mention the identity of the arsonist. 